Okay, check this out. This is the Monstiff with Austin Warrior Arts, uh, Guild of Silent Sword. I have um, a good friend, uh, Hector, who's going to help me uh, do a little demonstration. So um, I've been asked um, a couple of times on YouTube if there are any like two-handed African uh, fighting styles, uh, two-handed swords in um, African military history and such. And um, from what I can discover, you know, um, the uh, way armor developed and the needs and the uses of, um, of I guess the, the, the it didn't, there was no need for for two-handed swords in African warfare. Uh, you, you weren't dealing with people who were heavily armored. When you found armor, um, you know, a, a strong lance could uh, pierce most of it. Uh, so you weren't dealing with the heavy plate that you found in Europe. So there wasn't really a need for, to develop or to use uh, uh, two-handed swords. Um, I have heard, though, and I will say this, in uh, Sudan, the uh, Kaskaras, uh, which is like a, the, the East African version of a, of a Takoba, to put it... To, uh, dumb it down, I guess. Um, it's basically, it's a broadsword. It's a sword that when the, um, the British were fighting, fighting against the, um, uh, in Sudan, they speculated that the, uh, the, uh, the Beja, uh, that they were fighting with weapons that were from the Crusades, and that the, um, these African warriors had you know, found swords and armor from the Crusades, and they were using it. So the um, Kaskara is pretty much like a large arming sword. It's around, um, you know, four feet long, um, and sometimes even longer. And I think it could classify as a long sword, but the, the issue is that it's still, the grip is still, you hold it with one hand. Uh, but I have heard uh, stories of um, elephant hunters in Sudan uh, who would hunt elephants with swords and that they would take the sword with both hands to give like the, the, killing, the killing cut. Um, other than that, I've never encountered like um, using two-handed swords in Africa, in African history. Um, I'm going to play around with this. I'm kind of this video is kind of serving two purposes. One, to talk about two-handed swords and um, it's it being used in Africa. At the same time, I was asked to um, make a long sword, and um, I want to try to I want to demonstrate kind of how it. Uh, well, for me, I want to see how it, you know, uh, interacts with the Rawlings. This is a Rawlings, right? The, the Rawlings long sword. It's a very nice sword. Um, my sword right here looks pretty incomplete, which it is. I'll add a cross guard to it later on. Um, so um, I am not a practitioner of long sword. Um, I don't do long sword or the katana. Um, all my movements and techniques are going to come from uh, the African stick fighting, which uses you know two hands, the tati and such. So. We're gonna do just a one for one drill, just kind of like this to play around with the blades, and just gonna see how they interact. And this may suck; I have no idea, but we'll we'll go ahead and just go around. have to work out some of the um, the bugs with this. What did you feel? I'm not sure. Honestly, it, it felt more like a style difference. Because I tend to stay out here, mm -hmm. which is something I think I see a lot of long swords do, is the guard is a bit more important. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whereas with our style, it's a bit more uh, motion. Right, right. So, yeah. I felt couple of times we made contact in the bar. Yeah, that way, that's what I was going to ask. This was a lot, really floppy. So, okay, well, um, I'm still going to put a cross guard on it and kind of play around with it and see if I can take away some of that flex, maybe 
thin the uh, tip, the first door of the sword, and see if maybe that'll help stabilize it a little bit. But um, it wasn't so bad, but just definitely in the bind, I felt this kind of starting to flex a little bit too much. And that already, like this is much more flexible than, than like the nylon rods. Right. Swords, and this that's already much, much more flexible. Right. Okay, yeah. So we'll have to play around with it. So back to the lab with the long sword. But thank you guys for checking us out. Uh, please like, um, subscribe, please comment. If you're going to be salty, you can still comment, but I'll probably just ignore you. But uh, thank you guys for all the support, and um, yeah, we'll keep moving forward. Thank you.